What's up, everybody? Chris over here, Head Trader Polony Trading. Today, we are starting the Prop Trading Series. Instead of doing a course and launching and doing the whole thing, I'm putting it out here on YouTube. The whole thing, start to finish, it's all about prop trading. I just did a webinar. You can click on that. Go find that one. It was a, a good long one. I got a lot of requests to dig into prop trading. So like and subscribe to the channel. Go hit that like button, you know, subscribe to it because I'm going to be pushing out this course, uh, the prop trading course over the next few weeks. We are not going to be talking about things that won't matter. We're going to be talking about getting funded at a prop firm, staying funded at a prop firm, getting paid in prop and staying in the game long-term. The course is about that. It's not about different type of um, things that Jerome Powell might be saying or these esoteric theories that make you sound important as a fund manager. We are talking prop trading. You eat what you kill. And that's what it's all about. Read this disclaimer. Okay, the biggest problem traders have, individual traders have, is being underfunded. If you have a $5,000 account and you make 20% on that, that's $1,000. That maybe buys like a month or two worth of groceries. And if it takes you a whole year to earn that, it's obviously not worth your time. But if you earn 20% on say $5 million, $1 million in profit, that is a completely different story. Size matters in trading. I know traders out there like you probably have been, been able to go out and make plenty of money on a percentage wise basis. And you look at somebody like Warren Buffett who makes 20% a year and you're like, Psh, that's nothing. Man, I made 50% today. Well, it's because you're not dealing with the correct size. And that risk is ridiculous. This is a list of people <laughs> who return, I don't know, 15, 20, 30% annually. And they've been doing it for years and years and years. Got people like George Soros, Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, Stanley Druckenmiller, uh, Howard, Howard Marks, Joel, Green, Joel Greenblatt, David Einhorn, Paul Tudor Jones, uh, uh, just Monish Pabrai. There's these people are making big, big numbers on the size of the account. We're talking billions in profits. But you give them a five thousand dollar account, they're they're not going to be important enough, right? So if you earned twenty percent per year, you're considered a goat, greatest of all time. The thing is, is you only get GOAT status if you do it on billions of dollars. You do that with $5,000 today, this year, you make 1000 that's $6,000. In 20 or 30 years, you're talking about some okay money. But if it takes you that much time to knock it out every single day, every single week, every single month, it's not good return on your investment. All right, so who am I? Christy Macro. You can find me on Twitter at that handle. I'm the founder and head trader here at Pollinate Trading. I've been trading since 1999 in prop. I've self-directed retail trade and ran a hedge fund. I trade stocks, option futures, Forex, and crypto. I am a systematic trader. Before then, I was a U.S. Marine. I worked in the Department of State in the high threat protection. Uh, I carried a carried past a security clearance with DOD, Department of Defense, and Department of State. I worked for the government in Haiti, Iraq, Colombia, Mexico, Europe, and here in the United States. I've traded during rocket attacks, which is one reason why I'm a systematic trader. Uh, dot com bubble, 9 11, global finance crisis, flash crash, Brexit, Vol Clock Less, 2018 meltdown, COVID, and let's call 2022, 2022. Um, <laughs> I travel the world trading these systems on a laptop, from my phone, from a tablet. Uh, and nowadays I'm just trade from my comfy little office with a big couple of monitors and all the technology I need. You can do this. Let's talk about what is prop trading just to, to start out. Like, let's just clear it up. A trader, you trade an account for a company. It's the company's capital account. They're basically saying here, trade our money, make some money for us. 
And with that comes rules, of course. They determine what you can trade, when you can trade, what software you can trade, what data feed you can use, what time of day you can trade, when you have to exit, how much leverage you have, prove, profit, target, stop, loss, news, advance, holding overnight, profit splits, monthly fees, and other stuff that they're going to hit you with that you never thought actually existed, but it's going to surprise you and it's going to suck and all those other things. So why would you want to trade for a prop firm? As we talked about initially, it's all about getting access to large amounts of capital and with little risk to you. You get lower fees and commissions. You have a clear measure of success. They basically say, hit this profit target and don't hit this stop and a dozen other rules. Um, also, your third-party verified track record, that's important because when we're talking about size matters, uh, having a verified track record that somebody else says is legit means other people are going to be willing to give you capital. And I don't mean investors, maybe I do, but uh, you know, I'm not saying that you're going to go create a hedge fund or anything like that, but you can. But what I'm saying is there are prop firms out there who will hire you based on your track record and give you, you know, millions and millions of dollars in buying power. In fact, it's unlimited potential what you can do if you have, if you can trade. If you can trade, you don't need to raise money. You don't need to do anything. You just need to trade and make money. Everybody else in the business who can't trade, they're there to support you. So let's talk about a couple of different types of prop firms. There's professional prop firms, which is the more traditional type of prop firm. In essence, you uh, you know submit your resume or, or application or you know whatever application process they have. They hire you, interview you, run you through a, a battery of tests. Um, then they hire you with a salary that's not very good at all. Uh, they provide training and mentorship. Usually takes they they usually say about a year or two before you are expected to have positive PNL with them. So they're they're investing in you. You have very low fees and commissions. So whatever trading you do, you're not worried about paying all the fees on it like you would be if you were just doing it for yourself. It is performance-based compensation, and it is quite scalable. If you're doing it good, they're going to turn up the heat pretty quickly. There's going to be people on staff to help you deal with that larger buying power and just altogether uh, work on it. Downside of a professional prop term firm is you're going to have a, like an email address that you have to respond to and meetings that you're have, going to have to go to. You may have to go to an office. Um, in essence, you're an employee, so you have to do the things that you would expect an employee to do. But because it's a prop firm, there's not a whole lot that uh, comes with it. Uh, if you are just starting out, a lot of the work you're going to be doing is learning and training and studying and and helping other people out. So it's not that it's you know annoying to do any of that work. It's just you know where do you want to where do you want to go with it? Next, we have self funded prop firms, which there's no salary, but you put up your own capital for the risk. So you put up twenty five, fifty, hundred thousand dollars, and then that's the stop loss on the account. They give you all sorts of leverage on that and allow you to grow that you know greatly. Um. They per uh, they're they you split the profits with them for the, them you putting up the uh, capital and them giving you all the services and fees and all the uh, uh, discounts on everything they take a bit of a of a of a profit split with you so your partners they're they are they are there to to see you successful most of these firms make a, they charge a little bit for a seat fee or something like that. Uh, but the reality is they want to make their money on your profits, not so much on you paying them a hundred dollars a month to use their software. Um, the fees and commissions are usually the lowest in the industry in prop, uh, these prop firms that allows you to do these high frequency. So you want to get into algorithmic trading or high frequency trading or scalping strategies. You can go this route and the commissions will keep you out of trouble. Whereas if you do it on your own, you get yourself in trouble. Uh, you can pretty much trade your own rules, whatever market you want to trade, hold for however you want to hold and use whatever risk models you want to use. Again, it's your money that's protecting the downside. So they pretty much have a all upside for them sort of scenario. Then let's get to what has changed everything in 20, 2020, 2021, 22 recently, these retail prop firms, which is the newest and most uh, disruptive type of trading in the game right now. You put up a small tryout fee. 
uh, and then in, you hit their profit target without breaking their stop loss or breaking rules, you get funded. You can have as some firms, you know, 20 accounts. So, you, you know, a $300,000 account times 20, you're looking at 6 million. You're actually looking at the drawdown of it, $7,500 times 20, but you get buying power, $6 million in buying power. And that's the, that's the cool thing about them. Um, the thing is, is they make all their money on fees, almost all of it on that tryout fee. 96% of traders who do those tryouts fail at the tryout. So only 4% actually get into the trading side. That's what I mean. They make all their money on fees. That $300,000 account can cost you $700, $500, $300, $100 to do the tryout. Then they have these like really weird rules. And then if you break a rule, your, your account's closed. And then they say, oh, well, would you like to reset for $100 or whatever it is? And you reset again, you reset again. And then you have a monthly fee until you pass the tryouts. There's all these ways. There's just mountains and mountains and mountains of fees. But if you make it out the other end and you're one of those four percenters, that's where the money starts to get really impressive. So why do most traders fail at that? It's because besides the obvious breaking a rule, uh, it's just bad habits as a trader. You're, it's tough to think of managing a big PL when your entire life you've been aiming for you know a thousand dollar account turning into a million dollar account or you know you caught bitcoin at like seven hundred dollars and you ran it up to 50 or you know uh, things like that when you always have that in your back of your mind you get into this prop trading thing and most of the time you're just trying to show off trying to show them that you're the best trader who, who can quickly make their profit target within you know five minutes of starting the account Usually traders trade in these tryouts. They trade much larger than you should be trading. You sit there and think to yourself, oh, I got a $300,000 account. Cool. I'm going to go in and buy 10 E-minis when you should be riding, you know, buying like three micros. Um, they, they go for the, the huge returns in short periods of time. Instead of thinking, okay, what can I reasonably get in the next quarter and put that together? They start saying, okay, what can I get done by Friday? Can I, can I pass this tryout by Friday? That's really where a lot of people get in trouble. And when they go for those huge returns in short periods of time, it's just a recipe to blow up. They don't trade with a system that it was designed specifically and adjusted for the rules of that prop firm tryout. Every prop firm is different. Even if you have a trading system, you need to adapt that system to the rules of the prop firm that you're working with. And Traders just take too many trades. What I want you to understand about a prop firm is a prop firm is a business first. Their job is to make money for their, their shareholders, their investors, and their employees. That's their number one job. They will do everything in their power to be profitable. None of that has anything to do with you. You won't have the ability to ruin their business. That's just how the prop firm is designed, okay? And you're not, you are not important to the prop firm as a trader. You're important to the prop firm as a tryout who will continue to try out. That, that you know, the, they're happy to have that, but you're not important to the firm as a trader who is, returns profits to them yet. In order to be an asset to a prop firm, you need to be able to stay within their rules and you need to be able to generate revenue and, and fees for them too. So what you need is a system. You need a trading system that you can engineer the outcome you're after, right? So you can monitor how well you're doing versus your model. Your system will tell you, this is your win rate. This is your average win. This is your average loss. This is what that looks like. And if you're not hitting it, well, you're, obviously not trading the system. Something's off. With a system, you can engineer your success. Let's say you have your system has a 50% win rate and you win two times what you lose. So your risk is risk to uh, risk level is two to one. And let's say your profit target is $9,000 and you have a $5,000 stop loss. All you have to do is just say, okay, well, how many trades does it take 
for me to get to profit target without hitting stop loss. If I make on average, let's say $150, uh, I'm sorry, $300 on a winner, $150 on a loser. Uh, well, every trade's worth $150 at that point in time, right? So how many trades does it hit? Does it take to hit $9,000 in profit? And there you go. You figure that all out, put it together and just go trade it. It's all about sizing the trades correctly and taking every single trade that comes up until you've hit your goal. That's what trading is about. That's what prop trading about. That's professional trading. It isn't about thinking that you're going to guess what Jerome Powell is going to, and, and the, the Fed is going to do uh, in this upcoming meeting or what the CPI is going to be on Thursday. None of that has anything to do with long-term success as a prop trader. And this way you can have size on your side. If you were to earn five to $10,000 a month trading a $150,000 account, that's GOAT status, right? You're looking at making um, 50, 75% a year doing that. That's, that's what good prop trading will be. You don't have to be 200, 300, 500, a thousand percent. You can very easily make 25 to 50% on large numbers. 150 is not a big account. You do this for a little bit of time, you'll be running 5, 10, 20 million if you do it correctly with the right systems. And over time, you will be important to the prop firm. And as an added bonus, you probably won't need the prop firm anymore unless you want to. There's firms like First New York, which you bring your track record to them and they'll say, okay, we'll start you out with 5 million and then we want to get you up to 150, 300 million fairly quickly. Right, that's that's something that you want to take with you, as opposed to continuing to make you know continuing to be pissed off that you're only making twenty percent a year on a five thousand dollar account. So, uh, if you want to learn more about that, uh, we have the Curvy Trading System is built for prop trading. I built this thing for prop trading. I use it to pass prop uh, the prop tryouts and to, and to work at prop firms. Uh, it's the, it is completely engineered for day trading in a prop trading environment. It's built to pass your tryouts and it's built to stay funded at those. Pollinatetrading.com slash curvy is where you can get that. Use discount code prop 50 and you get a 50% discount on the price of the trading system. And we did just release curvy 2.0, which is an even better, uh, version scaled towards or geared towards prop trading even more exclusively. Uh, and if you want to trade with us at pollinate trading, we trade live every day. You'll be all day long. You'll be amongst fellow prop traders who are either doing tryouts or are funded in live trading. There are traders at family offices, at hedge funds, and, you know, regular retail traders who are just like, no, nah, I don't want to do prop pollinate trading.com slash lab is where you can get that. Everybody, again, like, subscribe, share this out. Hit me up with any questions you have here. And the next one will be coming out, well, uh, shortly. I love you all. Bye.